hey guys how are you all doing as i welcome you back to my channel i want to know how well you are truly doing in the midst of this craziness called coronavirus aka miss rona as for me i am pleased to say that i am in a good place now as that wasn't the case with me a few months back guys it's no secret that i love looking good and a big part of looking good for me comes from makeup application makeup for me transcends beyond the physical even if i say so myself and today's video is a therapy session for me to offload all that has been weighing heavy in my heart in this video i am not going for any specific look in particular but as the spirit leads <laughs> for me to come up with something comforting which is the true essence of the power of makeup being therapeutic for those of you who are joining us here for the first time i have been off the social media reader for the past three months right on the heels of the lockdown brought about by miss rona herself as my last post on instagram was on the 30th of march while it was on the 24th of march here on youtube i didn't plan to be missing in action or anything like that but due to circumstances beyond my control things happened the way they did and for starters i was ill for two weeks or so that i was so scared initially that i had the covid 19 but thankfully i didn't I practically forced myself to eat as I didn't have any appetite for food but I knew I had to eat in order to take my medications. Then upon recovery, my heart became so heavy that I fell into a slump to the extent that I was no longer having my bath twice daily as I previously did but once every other day. Family and friends became worried as the jolly good fellow Nenna who is known to be the life of the party, always laughing and all that wasn't doing so again things got so bad to the extent that my boyfriend was wondering if i was planning on breaking up with him as i refused to see him for close to two months despite being locked down in the same city as myself but before i continue let me take this time to thank everyone who reached out to me especially my instagram family who were concerned that they were no longer seeing my pepper them post again i truly and really appreciate you all truly i do back then i had no desire or motivation to create content at all which was so unlike me as i was always brainstorming about my next photo shoot or ideas for my youtube channel but none of that appealed to me as all i did was eat sleep watch tv and repeat i'm not gonna lie guys i clearly wasn't in a good space as this covid 19 really messed up my plans for this year big time as everything on my vision board is either put on hold or is no longer attainable which really sucks gosh i can't even begin to put into words how this pandemic affected me but like we say in nigeria when there is life there is hope then just as i was trying to pull myself together the world went up in an uproar while america and the rest of the world was caught up in the black lives matter movement my dear country nigeria was battling with its own demons which made me wonder if the world as we know it was actually coming to an end as being propagated by many i mean how can you explain the senseless cases of police brutality being recorded here in nigeria and don't even get me started on the countless number of women being raped and murdered and the horrifying part is that little girls and boys are not spared from this madness my heart became completely shattered when I read about the story of how a three-month-old baby girl was stolen from her mother's side in the dead of the night. She was raped and abandoned in a school. Tell me, how cruel and wicked can people be? Hmm. Reports were also coming in on how fathers were sleeping with their own children. I mean, their own blood daughters. If that isn't is sensed, of the highest order i wonder what is i fear greatly about bringing innocent children to this evil world we live in at least while the protest in the u.s brought about some changes in their country with the arrest of the officers involved in george floyd's death the same can't be said of nigeria as the extrajudicial killings by the police is still going on and the rapists involved in the prominent cases of uwa Farashina and Jennifer, as well as the officers involved in Tina's death, are still nowhere to be found, let alone brought to book. I really don't know if Nigerians are scared to come out to protest like their counterparts in other parts of the world, 
but they can be found being very busy as keypad warriors and forming savage on the streets of Twitter, which I guess was part of the reason our president called Nigerian youths lazy youths. How sad. Hmm. But I strongly believe that things will be better in Nigeria in the not so distant future as there is an awakening right now about how we should be governed by our leaders. Please guys, pardon me if this video is all over the place as the essence of this video basically is to let you know that it is okay to be vulnerable and pour your heart out as it's nothing to be ashamed of and like the holy book says, if you fall down seven times, rise up on your feet eight times. I bet you that when you are sad or not in a happy place at any point in your life, it's easy for you to think that you are the only one feeling that way. But always remember that you are not and there will always be another happy moment right around the corner. For me, I am currently in a happy moment which is why I am filming this video to let you know how therapeutic the power of makeup is to me. As it allows me to be myself in my own little space, taking my time blending in products one after the other to create a beautiful look which makes me happy. And no, I don't apply my high-end or affordable makeup to look good for boys. Neither do I apply my makeup because I am insecure about myself. Far from it. I apply my makeup for me because I love myself and I am so secured in my beautiful brown skin. An important lesson which I learned while off the social media space is that my happiness mostly and truly comes from within me and not just from the fact that I have a good job, a good support system and the nice things I have acquired in life. Thankfully, I pulled through and I am doing great now. And most importantly, I am back to filming content for you guys. And of course, it wouldn't be an always nana look without my signature red lips. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching this video if you made it this far and please be safe and protected out there as Miss Rona is still out there looking for whom to attack. Cheers.